Hello, this is Dave from Approved Sheet Metal, and we have another SolidWorks Tech Tip video for you. So this video is going to go over basically how to set up your assembly files so that they go into our system easily and get your much faster flow. So in this example here, and we do see this quite often, we have a pretty simple tank assembly here. But if you open up the file, all the individual parts come in as their own imports. If this was submitted online or we uploaded it manually, the system wouldn't know what to do with this, how to break it up, and and so forth. So the best thing to do here is you have your solid bodies up here. Best thing you can do is take your individual parts, make them their own part files, right? So for example, if I go through here, I have PO1, PO2, PO3, PO4, and so forth. And what you do with those is you open up all those part files and then you bring them in and make a SOLIDWORKS assembly file out of them. So what I, you see here, we have PO1, PO2, all the way to PO5, because there's some of these parts that are just mirrors of each other. So once I get all this done, this is a nice clean assembly tree that if I save this as a step file, and I upload it into our system, our system is going to take this and break this all up into components, do all the flat patterns, all the cut processing times, makes the whole process much faster, much easier, far more accurate for us to quote for you. Obviously, if you have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to us at rfq at approvedsheetmetal.com or visit our website.